A quick note before we begin in this video, we've been asked a lot, are you guys safe? Because we live in Minnesota with everything going on around us. We just want to let everybody know, yes, we are safe. It really is sad of what's what's happening in our country right now. We could repeat things that's already been said so many times. I am not good with words. We talk about it all the time. We talk about treating everybody with respect. We always talk about everybody is just as important as anybody else. And it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter the color of your skin. Everybody is equally as important as another person. Just love people. When we come out on the other side of everything that's happening, I hope we see change. I really do. What happened with those police officers and George Floyd was terrible. It is so unacceptable, and that is not the first time that tank kind of thing has happened either. And I think what is happening right now is opening a lot of eyes to the issues in this country regarding racism. Instead of just being not racist, we have to be more than that. I think we have to be anti-racist. To stand up for everybody and not keep doing what we're doing because obviously it's not working. We stand with them. We stand with our black neighbors, our black friends, our black coworkers. Because it, it does, it has to stop. With everything that's going on in the country now, that's evidence that it has to stop. We have to change. This is an autism channel, I know. This isn't, this is not what we're, we're, we don't usually talk about this kind of stuff. But you know, not saying anything, not, not saying anything at all, I think that's part of a problem. Staying neutral, I think is part of the problem. You might disagree with me and that's okay. It is my opinion. If I don't make any statement at all, I think that's part of the problem. Are you having fun? What are your favorite things to do, huh? Baby, how's it going? It's Stacy's birthday today. The big. Can I say how old you are? Oh, I thought you didn't know, and that's why no. you paused. <laughs> Can I tell them how old you are? Sure. The big 3 0. Dun dun dun. Made it to 30. How do you feel? Old. Yeah. Braley, let's open some packages. We're opening some packages for Braley on Stacy's birthday. <laughs> what else are we gonna do? Yeah, we're, we're kind of. There's just nowhere to go, nothing to do, so. We're just hanging out at home, doing what we can. Yep. I do want to say I can't even see myself. I do want to say I am so sorry that I lost the footage of the last mail time. Um, there was a letter and there was a package that we had recorded. That footage no longer exists. Yay. We're gonna kind of redo those two. We will open up the new ones we got as well. It's mail time. Mail time. Mail time. So this one is a letter and it's so cool because there's stickers in between everything that are scented. So on this envelope, there's scratch and sniffs. Hey, scratch it and smell it. <laughs> what about this one? Look, look. Scratch and then smell it. No, don't. She tried to eat that one. <laughs> well, it smells so good. <laughs> I think she's food distracted at the moment. Yeah. We're gonna actually uh, do food first because Braley is food distracted. I know how that goes. I get food distracted. So this letter is actually from Darcy. Thank you guys so much. Out in Winnipeg, that's not too yeah. far. Hey, Canada. Yeah, it's an interactive letter, which this is the first time I've ever seen anything like this. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. It's, it's filled with scratch and sniffs. We have now Used it multiple times with Braley. And there she is in the background wiping juice all over herself. Thank you so much, Darcy. This is a really awesome letter. For sure. Braley, do you like the scratch and sniffs? Do you like them? That's that's such a great idea. I, I know that you said that you were gonna send an interactive letter. I'm like, what could an interactive letter be? What would it look like? Now I know, and it is awesome. This one was from Julie, and Braley and I have done it a few times already now. 42 piece puzzle, 
with special pieces. It's a fantastic 3D map. So she saw us doing the United States map with Braley. So she got us a world map and it's just, it's perfect size. It's got the big pieces like the other one we did with her. And then it has these little animals all over it and they stand up like game pieces. So they have these things here and then they stand up and I have the picture, it's just at the bottom. And so then Braley can then place them where they go on the map based on the picture. She matches them. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's really cool. It's really cool. It's like a heavy duty, nice puzzle pieces too. Sorry if I say this wrong. It's from Ailey from California. Drew a picture of Braley. Wow. That is so cool. With music notes. Can we totally put that up in our office? Yeah. Yes. Thank you for inspiring me. Much love to you all. And then we have a letter here. Oh. We love the letters. We really do. We do. I'm sending you a picture I drew for B and definitely not an artist, but I really wanted to make something special for you. I love school bus shirts. Is that so great, Braley? They're the best. Braley's current school bus shirt is almost outgrown, so it's good timing to get her a new one. That's awesome. Look, we got a card from Zoe and it says, I believe in you and unicorns. And it says, but especially you. <laughs> it says, Braley, you are a gifted person. Stay strong. Thank you so much, Zoe. Braley this loves is unicorns. Awesome. She loves unicorns and yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. And then, we have the package. Mm -hmm. I think it's from Shara. I hope I pronounce it right. Maybe Shara. I'm so sorry for my pronouncing your name we wrong. We are really good at butchering names. <laughs> yeah. Hey, B, look. Do you want to open this? Do you want to open? <laughs> Ooh. It is a leapfrog rocket twist. <laughs> How cool is that? Rotatable learning game system. Ooh, what could it be? Best, 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 best. Not a school bus. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps saying best, best, buzz. What is that, B? It's a smart tablet. Yeah, it's like a keyboard, huh? Yeah. You can, probably so you learn can some, type your letters. Learn some good things with it. Braley, I hope you can mm -hmm. use these. I got you these items because I remember using them as a child and they kept me busy and help with simple games and focus skills. That's so awesome. Like that is so thoughtful and to know that they helped you and that Braley might like them as well. That's awesome. I think she will. I, I do think, too. I think she will. Like this these. is like an ultimate fidget right here. Thank you guys so much. We're gonna, we'll uh, try these out with her. And thank you guys so much for the art, the letters, the cards. Yeah. Everything you guys send us, thank you. It never, means so much. It means a lot. And we, I mean, we never expect it, but we do appreciate it. We're in the process of cleaning out the office, cleaning up the office and organizing it a little different. It's just been a work in progress for a long time, which is why you guys probably haven't seen us do our live streams in there for quite a long time. We haven't been live in a long time. Maybe we should go live again soon. We should do like a we should do like a Q and A soon. I, well, we're getting a lot of new subscribers every day right now, and so I think it would be it would be uh, beneficial to do a Q and A, you know, so you guys can learn more about us. We can learn more about you. Yeah, we'll do it soon. We will keep you guys. We'll give you guys a date and time soon. For all those Carlos fans out there, <laughs> we have some news. Yeah. It's it's really not the best news, unfortunately. We took him for a checkup at the vet on Thursday, and he got all squared up. He just has a booster shot to get in a couple weeks. But they said that he has luxating patellas, and so he is going to need some surgery soon. 
So basically, he's getting, from our understanding, the equivalent of dog knee surgery. Yeah, yeah. we're going to fix his legs. And that could be part of why he doesn't move around a whole lot and why he is pretty lazy. I mean, he could just be a lazy dog, but it could be because he's not feeling well with it, you know? Like, he doesn't whimper or anything. Well, this is actually a common thing to happen with chihuahuas, apparently. I know it's the internet, but it said the success rate for the surgery is over 90%. We're confident that we can get his legs back into working order. They also said that he does have, it's not cataracts, but he has a thing that um, is going on with his eyes, causing his eyesight to go a little bit, but there's nothing they can do about that piece, so. Yeah. He's just, he's older too. Yeah, he's 10 years old. And just so you guys know, going to a vet appointment it's can be... Curbside. It's curbside, yeah. And so you're not really contacting anybody. I mean, you're pretty much, they come out wearing a mask and hand you paperwork. You fill out the paperwork in the car and they come out and get them. You, you actually put the leashes on him, like the leads or whatever, mm -hmm. and put them on the ground and then they take him. They walk him in, bring him back out. So they actually call you on the phone while you're sitting in the car and they have your pet inside and kind of do the visit that way over the telephone to be like, so we checked out Carlos, here's the things that we noticed. Um, and then asking options of like, what kind of heartworm do you want to give him? Or, you know, all of the options that they can give for what they're doing for the day. And so that was really interesting, definitely. It's a little nerve wracking because Carlos is kind of a grumpy old man. Like he doesn't love a lot of people. So we were worried about it, but he did great. Yeah, yeah. he's really good. Good job, buddy. Proud of you. Yeah. We'll get you fixed up. Got you. Got to get you back into work in order. Yeah, we'll get we'll get you back running again. I mean, he still runs. It just it makes me think how painful that must be for him. Yeah. Dude, wow, we went really into detail about Carlos today. For everybody that loves Carlos, hack, hashtag, what was the hashtag? King Carlos. <laughs> hashtag King Carlos. If you're a King Carlos lover. Something that I think is. Interesting is Braley's love of cottage cheese. Da, da, da. All right, it's time to go for the day, Braley. Say hi. And say bye. Hey, spit it out. Bye. Thank you. Get on. Pound it. You're the best. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Really. Mississippi. What does a dog say? Say woof. Stacy's friend, I gotta show you guys, Stacy friend, um, stop, stop, and left this on our porch. We were like, why does our doorbell camera keep saying there's someone there? Look at it, and what do you know? There's a big pile of balloons. Thank you, Jeanette. 
I'm sure she said you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs>